Hey everyone, Chris with another video. So today the video is pertaining to ROMs, recovery, unlocking bootloader, bricking your device, that sort of thing. So this actually happened to me last week. Um, this is why I'm making the video. Is I had hard bricked my Zook Z2. So what I had done was I had backed up my MIUI ROM um, and TWRP and I also had a backup of the AOSP extended ROM as well. So apparently what happened was um, what I forgot to do was when I flashed MIUI it also flashed a different variation of TWRP from what I used to back up AOSP extended ROM. So because it flashed the recovery in MIUI, um, I just changed the language to English, never really thinking twice about it. So what happened, I left that same recovery, I copied my AOSP extended ROM onto here, and restored the ROM, and went to go reboot, and boom. Phone would not boot, um, not recognize anything. Basically just a black screen, and then just uh, one white or red LED came on, and that's it. Couldn't do anything. Couldn't boot in the fast boot. Computer wouldn't recognize it. Was scared, <laughs> to say the least. I was like, seriously, I just got the phone and I already bricked it. Well, that's kind of one of the things that come with rooting and unlocking bootloaders and stuff like that. So, I've since fixed it, which is good. And I'm going to kind of show you how you're going to go about doing that. Um, I'm going to also include the links of the guide on what I use to follow this whole thing down below so you can always check out that guide um, i really appreciate toxic 09 on the zook fans for creating the actual guide in the forms um let's go ahead and thank him if this also helped you as well so what you need to do is um, a usb-c cable or just a micro usb cable with a usb-c adapter that's what you're going to need now next you're going to need is a razor blade or a sharp knife of some sort and what you're going to need to do is go ahead and cut open your cable you're going to want to slice down in the rubber and then go ahead and just run this around like so that way you can get a sl basically a section exposed of the wire inside. This Chotec had some uh, metal wire type um, stuff in there as well for I guess additional protection and rigidity so you're going to want to need to cut through that as well. And then secondly what you're going to need to do then is expose and I'm not going to sure if you're going to be able to get this on camera here. You're going to need to cut some of the insulation of the black and the green wire. That way the wire is exposed on both of them. You can see there and there. And then finally you're gonna need some sort of pin, um, closed pin, like a sewing needle, something that you can use to short both of these out. So what you're gonna need to do is if your device, if you can't um, turn it on, things like that, it's not being recognized, um, go ahead and we need to actually first uninstall your QPST, uninstall your Zook um, USB driver, and then thirdly, uninstall your MiFlash. To uninstall MiFlash, um, go to the directory that you installed it on, usually the um, C drive, go down to Program Files, and go to Xiaomi, delete the whole folder, restart your computer and then what you're going to need to do then is reinstall the Zook driver and Mi Flash. Install both of those and again if you hadn't seen my original video of flashing firmware you need to be in the driver verification mode dis disabled mode um, on Windows 8 or Windows 10. Um, Next, after you install both the Zook driver and the Mi Flash, what you need to do is press and hold the power button 
keep pressing and holding, you're going to first see one white LED come on. Continue pressing and holding until you see that white LED come on a second time or your phone vibrates a second time. All right, so then what you'll then do is plug your cable into your phone like so. Go ahead, take your, your pin. You're going to go ahead and pierce the pin through the wire of the green and the black so that way the pin is shorting out the two, the two wires. And then what you'll do is plug your cable into your computer. Okay, you're going to leave it plugged in. After about four seconds, remove the pin. And on the computer, you should see in the device manager uh, 9000E, or it should come up as 9008 mode. Depending on which one comes up, it depends on what you'll need to do next. If it comes up in 9008, then that's good. You can go ahead and um, reflash the firmware again. Now, if it comes up in 9000E, go ahead and what you're going to want to do is reattach that pin back to the green and the black wires while it's still plugged into your computer and to your device. Then go ahead and power off the device, pressing and holding the button for about, um, again, till that white LED comes on once, and then keep pressing and holding that power button until it comes on again. And then at that point, what you'll need to then do is after that second light comes on, go ahead and then remove the the pin once more you should then have the computer recognize your zook in 9008 mode that way you can deep flash the firmware you can also purchase these cables off of aliexpress ebay they're usually like seven bucks maybe fifteen dollars um, but i mean if you have a spare usb cable um, this is going to save you money. Um, you can make this nicer to where you could solder a push button onto these and then heat shrink all of this and that way you just have a nice button. Um, but this is just a nice quick temporary thing. But hopefully this helps. And again, what happens when you brick the device, that's usually due to you backing up a TWRP, you're backing up your ROM with one version of TWRP recovery and then restoring that ROM with a different version of TWRP. So make sure when you back up a ROM, you leave that recovery and use the same recovery to restore it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so learn from my mistake. That way you don't have to experience it. It almost uh, cause a heart attack, but hopefully this video will help show you how you're going to be dealing with a hard brick. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.